Hello, I'm going to talk to you about material choices for your final um, design for your GCSE Design and Technology non-examined assessment or coursework. The material choices page comes when you've decided what you're going to model or prototype and it's where you are telling the person who is looking at your folder or you're telling your client what materials you've chosen to make the product out of. So it's a final decision. So you have to put a picture on it. That picture can be from your, the design section of your folder, but not the design ideas section. Or it could be a new sketch that you quickly put together, or it could be a series of sketches. Better if it's a computer aided design, but you can always do one afterwards. Um, and then you need to label each part. I've only labeled three of the parts, there are more but three is okay for me for now to show you what you need to do. Um, I've got a side panel that would be made of this material here, acrylic, and I found this picture on the internet. <coughs> and then I've got tube um, steel, mild steel legs, which are gonna go on the side. And then I've put an eight segment display because I would have some sort of um, sign that would go along that would tell my client where the bus was gonna go or what bus was coming or might say, welcome to, you know, whatever you like. Um, um, so I've numbered each part, one, two, three, I've labelled each part, and then it says uh, complete the table, so I've got a table on the other page. If you're grade, um, want a grade four or grade five, the table's fine. Um, if you want a grade six or above, we really need a nice creative page. So when I come to my table, I've got my part numbers here. So we've got part number one and part number two, the acrylic and the mild steel tube. So I've got part number one and part number two. And then it says required properties. So when I'm thinking about my side panels of my bus stop, I want them to be transparent so that people can see the bus coming. I want them to be rigid so that they don't change shape because if they're flexible, then um, they're not going to make a very good screen. And I want them to be weather resistant because my bus stop's going to be outside. And if they were affected by weather, then my bus stop wouldn't be very successful. And then uh, there, I've said acrylic just here. If you want um, to, um, if you want to be really um, clever, you might put in uh, more than one material. So it says suitable materials. Um, again, that's for a grade five, six or higher. So it's best if you try and do it. So acrylic or glass might be an appropriate material. And then it's got material choice. And I think my final material choice would probably be acrylic. Um, and then it says sustainability. So um, um, uh, if we're thinking about um, something that's transparent and if we're comparing acrylic or glass, we can say that acrylic comes from oil. Acrylic comes from crude oil this is bad because and we might talk about recycling and stuff like that and then we can talk about glass and how glass comes from sand so if you really go to town on that bit you get loads of marks and then i state why acrylic is a better choice so acrylic is light um, um weight and will not change color um in bright sunlight because it won't but some plastics do, um, and won't be affected by rain. It's cheaper than glass and um, might um, shatter in a less dangerous way. way. So we might put something like that in our final summary. So that's my reason just there. I could put about it being laser cut and stuff as well. Um, when it comes to the mild steel tube, which is part number two, I've got good compressive strength, tough and corrosion resistant. Um, we know that mild steel isn't corrosion resistant, but when it comes to the sustainability in terms of how long it lasts, we might talk about galvanizing, or we might talk about painting to make sure that it lasts a long time. Um, if that makes sense. Um, and it's really specific down to whatever product you've designed. And then I could think of some alternatives. Um, it could be made of aluminium because then it would be light and it would be low cost, but then it might not be very strong. Um, so we can think of some different metals or we could make our bus stop out of something like beach. And we could talk about, um, we could compare those materials in here and I could say, oh, well, beach would be affected by weather over time, whereas aluminium's a non ferrous metal, so it wouldn't. So we can really go to town, and this stuff gets you loads and loads of marks. But if you just list what material you're going to use um, around your drawing, then that's probably going to be like your grade one, 